Hello and welcome to the tutorial on skip counting in fives. In this tutorial we will cover numbers up to 50. Now the best way to explain this if you are doing this for the first time is by way of a number grid. So let's have a look at one that we drew earlier. There we go, that's our number grid from 0 to 50. 0 on the top left and it runs across to 10, the next row is 11 to 20, and so on, until we get to 50. Now, in any exam or test, or in the classroom, or if you're learning at home, you can draw this by yourself very, very easily. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example. We've got number 0, and the question is, what number comes after 0, if we are counting in fives. Counting in fives. Okay, the first step is to find number zero. I'm just gonna put a square around it. There is zero. And then we're going to count in five. Okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw an arrow from zero to the right hand side of the number grid. Keep watching the red arrow. We got one, two, three, four and five. Let's put a, we'll put a sort of a circle around it. What number did we land on? We landed on number five. So the number after zero, if we are counting in fives, is five. So let's have a look at our second example. Suppose this time we have number 15. So we've got number 15, and we have to work out what number comes after 15 if we are counting in fives. Now the first step is to find 15 on the number grid. Can you do that? That's great. 15 is over here. That is 15. I've just uh, drawn a blue circle around it. And now we're going to count 5 to the right. So we've got, and follow the blue line, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's draw a circle around there. What number did we land on? We landed on number 20. So the number after 15, if we are counting in fives, is 20. Now we're using the number grid for this, and it's good practice. But after a period of time, once you've got the hang of this, you'll be able to count from 15 to 20 on your fingers. You'll be able to count with dots, a previous method we've used. or you'll And you'll also be able to simply just work it out in your head. Okay, all of this comes with pure practice. So the more you practice, the better you will get. Let's look at one final example. This time we have number 35. And we have to work out what number comes after 35 if we are counting in fives. First, let's find 35 on the number grid. Can you do that? That's right, it's over here, 35. And we're gonna count in fives going forwards. So we've got one, follow the green line, two, three, four, five. What number do we land on? We landed on number 40. So going from 35 to 40 if we are counting in fives. Now I'm just going to look at one more example, but we're not going to use the number grid for this. So if I write down here D, and this time we've got number 40. Suppose we have 40, and we want to work out what number comes after 40 if we are counting in fives. So which is the best way to do this? If we're not going to use the number grid, well, you can simply use dots. Draw five dots above the arrow. The one, two, three, four, five. So we're going from 40, and we're counting in fives. 
The next step is to simply count how many dots there are, starting from number 40. So we've got 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. The last one is 45. Therefore, the number after 40, if we are counting in fives, is 45. So that is another method that you can use when counting in twos, threes, fives, or any number.